Hi and welcome to a new video. Have you been looking for a way to recover the videos that you have deleted from your device? In this video, I will show you several ways to do this on your iPhone. Let's go! When videos are deleted from your iPhone, they aren't really gone right away. In fact, they're still temporarily stored on your device, and you can restore them before the 30-day grace period expires. To begin, open the Photos app on your iPhone. Navigate to Albums and scroll down to the Recently Deleted folder. For security reasons, your Face ID or device passcode is required to access this folder. Once open, browse through the files and select each video you need. Then, tap the Recover button to restore them to their original location. When it comes to retrieving your photos and videos on your iPhone, there are four primary methods you can use. First, iCloud Photos provided that it's activated and not yet synced. iCloud Backup which has not yet been overwritten. iTunes Backup and finally, through the leftover data on your device. Let's start with the first method called iCloud Photos. With iCloud Photos enabled on your iPhone, any changes to your media files are uploaded to the cloud and automatically synced across all your devices signed with the same Apple ID when connected to the internet. If you recently deleted a file by mistake, you should immediately switch to airplane mode to disable internet access. Better yet, shut down your device completely. Either way, this should stop your iPhone from automatically syncing your changes to the cloud. Afterward, open your browser and sign into iCloud.com using your Apple ID. Then click Photos in the dashboard. Hopefully, the deleted files are not yet synced, so you can download them directly to keep a backup copy. Otherwise, you can access the Recently Deleted folder and browse for your deleted files. Once found, select the files and click Recover to save them back to your device. However, if you haven't enabled iCloud Photos but have activated iCloud Backup, the chances of recovering your photos are even higher, particularly if you've recently deleted them. Normally, Apple only backs up your device at night when it is plugged into its charger. Any changes made before that remain in the cloud. To check for backup details, open Settings and tap your name. Go to iCloud and access iCloud Backup. Then tap your device from the list in the All Device Backup section. This shows the latest backup and when it was created. In the meantime, avoid charging your iPhone to prevent overwriting the previous backup until you restore from it. Unfortunately, it's not possible to selectively recover your photos and videos from your recent iCloud backup. The only way to recover them is to completely reset your device, but this will also erase any changes you made in other apps. Another way of recovering your deleted media files is through your iTunes backup. Of course, this only works if you've created a backup prior to deleting your files. To start, open your computer and launch either iTunes if you're on Windows or Finder if you're on a Mac. Then, connect your iPhone to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. On your iPhone, enter your device passcode when prompted and click Trust to confirm the connection. Once connected, you can view the details of your most recent backup in the Backup section of the iTunes dashboard. If the timestamp matches the data you need, click Restore iPhone to restore your device from the backup. Note that this entire iPhone will be reset to the specified date of the backup. The only way to selectively recover your images or videos is to use a special software specifically designed for this function. Normally, a complete reset of your device is required to restore your previous data from your backup. If you only want to selectively restore your deleted photos or videos from your device, using third-party software is the best solution. Aside from that, you can also recover leftover data on your device. For this, I recommend iMyPhone DBAC. Click on the tag in the upper right corner for your reference. The download link is also provided in the description box below. 
DBAC is a tool specifically designed to allow you to recover a variety of file types, including deleted photos and videos, WhatsApp attachments, messages, and many others, even without a backup. This software is available both on Windows and Mac. Choose the appropriate OS before clicking the download button to try it out. Although the software has a paid version, scanning your iPhone for recoverable data is completely free. So, you can check if the data you need is still on your iPhone without paying for the software yet. Upon downloading, follow the on-screen instructions to install DBAC on your computer. After installation, connect your iPhone to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. On your iPhone, enter your device passcode when prompted and click Trust to confirm the connection. From the DBAC dashboard, choose iPhone Recovery from the top menu and click Next to proceed. Here, you have several data types to choose from ranging from messages, apps, and more. But since we only need to recover photos and videos, deselect other types to reduce the scanning time. To do this, uncheck Select All and proceed to the Photos and Video section. Then, select the file type you need from the available list. After selection, click the Scan button and wait while the program searches your device for recoverable files. To confirm the process, you'll be asked to re-enter your device passcode from your iPhone. Take note that the scan time depends on the amount of recoverable data. Once the scan is complete, DBAC will automatically preview all of your recoverable files, allowing you to browse and select each media individually. When everything you need is selected, click either Restore to Device to restore the data directly to your iPhone, or click Recover to Computer to export the recovered data to an external file. As I've mentioned earlier, the DBAC free trial is limited to scanning your data. To proceed with the recovery, a subscription is required. If the process is unsuccessful, this indicates that your files have been deleted permanently making any recovery attempts impossible at this point. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!